Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to share my January favorites with you guys. I have quite a few favorites to share with you today. Some of these are more lifestyle, some of these are like body care, and then we do have some makeup items. So we're going to get into this because I don't want to ramble too long. I just want to share with you guys the things that I've been loving. So maybe you guys might want to try these items, or maybe you want to suggest some new items to me since you kind of see what I love. So the first thing is my Yeti cup. So it's a very odd favorite. So this is my Yeti cup. I've been trying to drink a lot more water and me personally I can't just drink plain water I don't like the way that plain water tastes I know it doesn't really taste like anything everybody says but for me it does it has a weird taste to it so I like to add like the crystal light packets to it so I have been drinking eight of these a day which is a good amount of water in my opinion I think the amount of water you're supposed to drink is like half your body weight so whatever your body weight is you're supposed to drink that in ounces so I know I'm getting at least that because I think this is it doesn't tell me how many ounces this thing is. I know it's like the biggest one that they make, but I think it's like maybe 28, 32 ounces, something like that. So I'm using and drinking plenty of it. But there's ice in here too, so that kind of takes up some of the room. So I'm not actually drinking all of that. It's not all water. So this is just something that I love because it keeps my drink nice and cold. I can't stand a like lukewarm drink. Ugh. I love an ice cold drink, so this keeps it ice cold and it tastes delicious. So it helps me to drink more water. The next thing is something that I use for because like sometimes I be on the go and I'm like hungry and I'm like I don't want fast food so I keep these in my purse. So these are the Quest Bars. So this one here is the birthday cake. Oh my gosh guys it tastes absolutely amazing. It's making me my mouth water because I'm like yeah I want one now. But it's got like this birthday cake almost like icing type of material. It's not really icing because it's hard. But it just tastes so good. It tastes like real birthday cake, but it's like you know that it's better for you than eating a slice of birthday cake. This has 21 grams of protein in, into it as well. So if you're someone who you're trying to get your more protein or you're doing a lot of weightlifting and you need that extra boost of protein, this is really good for you. This is 180 calories. It has uh, 24 grams of carbohydrates. So it's got a lot of carbs in it. So if you're someone who's on like the keto, then this is not going to be something that you're going to enjoy. I don't personally do keto. I probably could never do keto because I love my carbs. So anyway, this is something that I really have been enjoying. And I think that if you guys are looking for a good healthy snack, it's I don't know how healthy it is, a good alternative for eating it instead of eating junk food. This is, in my opinion, a really good one. Now we're going to move on to some body care favorites. I have a couple body care things that I have been loving that have been helping my dry skin because my dry skin is horrendous this time of year. So the first one is by Tree Hut. So this is the Tree Hut Sugar Scrub and this one's in the Passion Fruit and Guava. This one smells amazing, but I think almost every one that I've tried from Tree Hut smells absolutely amazing. There are some that I like more than others, but for the most part, I enjoy all of them. This is something that I personally would recommend that you pick up at Ulta when they have their sales on these. Usually you can get them for like buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one free, some sort of deal like that. So I would recommend picking them up at that point and using your coupon, like your $3.50 off or your $5 off, whatever coupon you have available at that time. This is a really, really good item though. So for me, this is something that helps to exfoliate all that dry skin off. And then I can moisturize and my moisturizer feels like it sinks in better. So love this. It really does help with my dry skin throughout the winter. The next thing is something that I've been using for my feet because you guys, I don't know about you guys, but I like to get my feet prepped and ready for flip flop season because I love flip flops. Actually, I like being barefooted more than anything. I could just walk around barefooted forever, honestly. I've even walked outside barefooted in the snow, which is don't do that. Don't recommend that. That it stings a little. So this is something I've been using for my feet. So this is called the Spongibles. It's the Petty Scrub and a Sponge. So basically, it's like a rough side on one side. And then the other side is a sponge. So the green one is the one I have been using in my bathtub. It's got soap in it as well. So it's like the soap is like embedded into the sponge. So as you're scrubbing your feet with it, it's going to clean them as well. So it's going to get all the dead skin off. It's not super, super rough or anything, but it does a good job of kind of like doing a gentle exfoliation onto your feet. So if you're someone who is just trying to keep them maintained, this is a really good product. And like I said, it does have the soap inside of it. So it smells really good as well. My feet feel nice and clean when I get out of the shower and I'm like, yeah. The next thing is, is that all the body care? I think that's all body care. Oh, uh, yeah. So now we'll go to hair. So for hair, my hair, as you guys know, is pretty frizzy most of the time. Like today, it's actually laying flat, which is thanks to this. This is the Beauty Protector Protect and Oil Argan Oil. Oh my gosh, guys, this one smells so good. My bottle is like misshapen because I've squeezed it and used it so much. 
This smells exactly like the pink sugar, like the perfume. So if you like the pink sugar perfume, this is exactly what this smells like. The whole Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle on smells exactly like the pink sugar. I love the way that that smells. It smells so sweet and like almost innocent in your hair. And it definitely has like an after effect. So your hair can still smell like that. So for me, that I like it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Not only that, since it is an argan oil, it does help to hydrate my hair because my hair is very dry. And then through the winter months, I feel like my hair gets even more dry. And I don't know if it's because we have the heat running or what's going on, but it seems to get more dry. And I think this really helps to tame flyaways and also to maintain the like the silkiness, smoothness of my hair. So I really enjoy this. And then, like I said, if you like the smell of pink sugar, you're going to love it too. The next thing is we're moving to skincare for my face. So the first thing is something that I use morning and night. So this is my Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. My friend Mary on YouTube recommended this and I was like, okay, I'll try it. So this is really, really good. I have noticed a difference in like the coloration on my skin here because my skin was pretty discolored before because of like acne scars and things like that. But I noticed a lot of my discoloration is going away. I'm almost completely finished with this bottle. So I think I might have one more in backup. I hope I do at least because this is something that I don't want to run out of. I know Ulta sells this brand, so if you're interested in it, you can you can purchase it on Ulta. But I think Mary said she purchases hers on Amazon because Amazon's cheaper. So I purchased mine on Ulta. So if you want to purchase it either or, I'm sure that they both will be fine. But this is a really good vitamin C serum, and this because it does have hyaluronic acid in it and it has ferulic acid you can use it in the daytime since it does have hyaluronic acid I think that's what I've been told pretty sure so it says lightly massage serum onto face after washing in the morning and evening so yeah they're saying that you can use it in the morning as well so it's just making sure I was using it correctly because I have been doing it at both times this is a really good serum though so and it's not super expensive whereas like I know some other lines that I've tried before are quite pricey and I'm like I don't want to pay that price for a vitamin c serum I know vitamin c serum is really good for your skin but I don't want to go broke trying to use a vitamin c serum so the next thing is something else that helps with my redness. So before I put my foundation on, I love to use this. This is the Dr. Jart Sycopare. I think that's Sycopare. I'm sure, pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. This is a tiger grass color correcting treatment. So I've looked into this line a little bit to kind of figure out what this is made out of. And basically tiger grass is made out of, this stuff is made out of some sort of grass that they find in a place, I don't remember what the place was, I'll have to figure out what the place is, but it's made in a place where they, tigers, evidently the tigers when they start to play around or whatever, they get scratched up and stuff like that from each other, they'll go lay in this grass and this grass evidently has healing properties to it. So I thought that was very interesting. I can't remember exactly where it was that they were talking about the tigers playing and doing this and laying in that grass, but this is evidently something that's helping the tigers to heal faster. So they thought they would put it into skincare and it really supposed to help your skin as well, not only just hide the redness that you have on your skin, but it's supposed to also help to heal your skin. So here's what it looks like on the inside. It's like a green consistency. So I love this. I know I need to purchase another one of these, but I'm kind of hoping I can hold off till the VIB sale that happens in the spring because it's a little pricey. So anytime I can save some money on skincare, I'm going to try to. The next thing is for moisturizer. So for me, it will go in the order that I use them. So this is the Mamond, Mamond, Mamond. <laughs> This is the Hydrating Beauty Water. I basically use this as a toner. So at nighttime, after I've taken all my makeup off, after everything's cleansed, I go ahead and use this as my toner. I feel like it really does help to give my skin an extra boost of hydration. My skin, as you guys know, is very dry. And in the winter months, it gets even worse. So this has really helped. This isn't the scent Rose. They sell this at Ulta too. So I think I've got a theme going on here. Ulta, Ulta, Ulta. But I think Dr. Jart can only be purchased at Sephora. So that's the one exception so far but this is a very very good hydrating type of uh, formula I really like the way this works on my skin it smells nice it just works really well for me so again if you're looking for something to hydrate your skin after you've cleansed it I recommend that the next thing again for hydration because dry skin this is the belief the true cream moisturizing balm guys I've been using this for a very very long time and I don't foresee me ever quitting to use this unless I'm out of it and I'm trying to use some other back stock of other items but honestly this is my favorite this is my tried and true for dry skin 
I love this. The first person I had ever heard talk about this was Stephanie Nicole. And Stephanie had mentioned that she had dry skin and she was using this and she recommended it. And I was like, let me try that out because she, her recommendations are usually spot on. So I tried it and I fell in love with it immediately because my skin feels very, very hydrated when I use this. I use it pretty thick at nighttime so that way there it's almost like a mask. And I wake up in the morning and my skin feels so much better. My makeup goes on better. I just love the way this works for me. So if you have dry skin, I definitely recommend the Moisture Balm. If you have more oily skin, I recommend the Aqua Balm because that one's made for more oily skin. So for me, this one works fantastic and I will be purchasing for a very, very long time. The next thing we're going to move into, um, we'll do the one last oddity. So we have the Prada. This is my favorite perfume for the month. This is the Prada Candy Gloss. I love this. I just got this at Christmas and I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've used quite a bit of this already and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to run out of it. It smells so, so good. I love the bottle to it. The bottle's really pretty. So of course, I mean, we don't can't judge a book by its cover. How does it smell? It smells absolutely amazing. It's got a very sweet scent to it. If you like more of those sweeter, innocent notes, I think you're going to enjoy this. The Candy Gloss is my favorite out of the, pr the Prada line. The Candy Gloss, and there's another one. I don't like the regular candy, the regular Prada candy. I think that one smells a little too strong for me. But the Candy Gloss, mm, good, good, good. If you haven't smelled it before, I highly recommend go and check it out. You can purchase that at Ulta. I think Belief is Sephora. So the next thing is something I picked up at Ulta. And this is something that I had not tried too many of. And then I got a hold of the set and I was like, wow, I really like these. These are the MAC lipsticks. So I've heard so many people talk about MAC lipstick on YouTube. And I was like, how good are they? I mean, everybody talks about them and everybody's like, these are so good, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I want to try them. So the best way for me to try them out was to buy this set because I could try a variety of different finishes, a variety of different colors. I love every color in this set. I didn't think I would, honestly, because there's some colors in here that are more deeper that I don't typically love. There's colors in here that are more fair that I don't typically love. I'm like the right in between. So I really do love this entire set, though. This set makes me very happy. This is something that I feel like I would honestly just travel with this set. I know it's a little extreme, but it's in a cute box. I could just throw that into my suitcase and I'm ready to go. I love this lip set. If you can find any of the MAC lip sets like this, I recommend that you try it out that way instead of buying the full tubes. I don't know about you guys, but when's the last time you've, bought, you've gone through a full tube of lipstick? It takes me forever forever to go through a tube of lipstick so to get these smaller sizes and to be able to try them all out i really do love this so highly recommend if you can get a mac set that's the way you go get the smaller ones that's what i'm going to typically do from here out is try to get the smaller set smaller types of lipsticks and things like that because then maybe i will actually use one up because it takes so long to use one up the next thing is my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month oh my gosh guys i love this palette I used it for a week straight and I still want to play with it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to play with it more. I love this palette. There's only two shades in here that I feel like are kind of weak or kind of just not that great. This is the Tardiest Pro Remix palette. I haven't heard too many people talking about this or I'm just kind of under a rock or something because I haven't heard too many, many people talk about this, but I love it. It only has a couple matte shades in here. So it's got this matte shade, this matte shade, and then this matte shade. So it's got three matte shades in here. And the ones that are bad is this one right here, which is graphic, and then also mashup. Mashup and graphic, I think, are not that good. For graphic, I think the reason why I don't like that one is, like, it's supposed to be almost like a purpley color with a sparkle in it. But when you put it on your lids, it comes out almost black, and then the sparkles kind of fall off, so they don't really stick. The reason why I don't really like the purple, I feel like it's really weak. I feel like the shade even doesn't even swatch very well. I'll show you. So it just doesn't even swatch very well. I'm like, that's a very weak shade for a purple. And I know purple is like a kind of a hard color to do. So I'm not like super upset about it. I mean, it's still a usable shade. It's just not my favorite shade. All the rest of the shades in here swatch absolutely gorgeous. They wear so beautifully on the eye. Me personally, these are the only three matte shades I really need because I can do the rest of my eye look using these and I love this palette. It really helps me to kind of step outside of my comfort zone because it's got some of these really crazy, not really crazy, but bolder shades in here like this one right here, which is Color Explosion. I love this. It's got a duo creme right here, which is Create. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous palette. So if you have not tried this palette, I highly recommend going into the store, swatching it out for yourself and trying it out because it's beautiful. It really, really is beautiful. So highly recommend that you guys check this one out. I love it.
that is all the things I've been loving this past month. I did not love any kind of blushes in particular. I didn't love any highlighters in particular. That's the palette that I, it keeps speaking to me. Every time I look at that palette, I'm like, I want to play with you. I want to play with you. So that is the only thing that I really have been loving this week or this month, not week, this month. So I really do enjoy the Tarte palette. So if you are interested in it, I'd, like I said, I would go check it out. And it's for the MAC lipsticks. I would try to find a set of them where it's like the small minis. Try them that way. That way there you can kind of see what kind of formula look you like the best. And also what colors you like the best. I think it was perfect to find a set like this. So you might still be able to find this at like a MAC outlet or something like that. So you could check there. But anyway. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot this thing. This is makeup. This is the Morphe Continuous Mist continuous setting mist oh my gosh guys I love this I absolutely love this you only get 2.8 ounces in here so you're not getting a lot I think it's like $18 on the Ulta website but you can use your coupons because Morphe you can use your coupons but the mist to this guys is so I mean it's so fine it's like I don't know when you're a kid and you're running through the sprinklers and you get that fine mist of sprinkler going on top of you and that's what it reminds me of just like refreshing it's that refreshing feeling I don't know how much it really helps my makeup stay, but it makes my makeup kind of melt into itself so it doesn't look so cakey or anything like that. I just love this setting spray. This one is probably my favorite out of all the setting sprays I own right now. And I own MAC, I own Urban Decay, I own uh, Cover FX. I own tons of different ones, but this is my favorite. I love the sprayer to it. The sprayer is what has got me sold on this. So if you haven't tried it, I hope that they have like a sample out that you can try in the store so you can kind of spray it and see how the sprayer is on this because the sprayer is what makes it fantastic. The setting spray feels really nice as well. It's not sticky or anything like that. It just goes on beautifully and it kind of just melts your makeup into place so nothing looks like out of, looks, doesn't look like you piled it on anywhere. So anyway, this is something else that I have been loving. I almost forgot to mention it too. So definitely wanted to mention that. So that is everything that I have been loving in January. I'd love to know if you guys have some recommendations for me to try possibly in February. Let me know. And I'd also love to know what you guys have been loving. Let me know about that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.